Have you always had the desire to become a runner, but you're 50 plus and you think there's no way that that's probably gonna happen? Think again, I call BS on that. Hey, my name is Coach Lisa and I am here to put the fun in your run. If it's your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back, I really appreciate it. And you know what, I think I'm pretty much an expert on this. Not because of me, my personal experience, I started running in my late 30s. So, you know, that's not old. I hate to even use the word old. I don't think that that's old, but older than, you know, most. If you think about it, you know, I know 20 year olds sound like they'd be the perfect beginner runner, right? Because they're young, they're fresh, you know, they can do whatever they want with their bodies. But actually, that's one of the reasons I think that they're not the best. So let me tell you some of the reasons why I think a 50 plus year old woman, especially, is perfect to become a beginner runner. All right, I'm a running coach, and again, I started a little later in my life, not quite in my 50s, but the people I coach are mostly 50 plus. As a matter of fact, I had one of my runners, who's 64 actually, last month do her first 100K. 100K is 62 miles. Now, mind you, <laughs> okay, that's a little bit out of control in the sense that if you're never even thought about running, I know that sounds crazy to you, but that's what happens when you actually get into a community of women who help support you and want you to do whatever you want and whatever feels good for you. So let me tell you why I think again that we are the best candidates to become beginner runners, right? First of all, we're not afraid to ask for help, okay? I've noticed this, I teach chi running, which is running technique, which I think is a huge priority for anybody learning to run, but especially as we get older, learning technique is huge. But in my chi running workshops that I teach in person, you know, I wanna say 80% of the people who show up in those, those are usually women who are probably 50 plus. You know, I'll get a couple people in there, you know, that'll come in that are younger or maybe even a couple of guys. But I think as women in this age group, we're just not afraid to ask for help. If you need some help, you're gonna look and you're gonna try to figure out the best way to go around it. Another important thing I think is that we're very, very aware of our bodies as they are aging, right? Like, you know, people will talk about like, oh, you know, um, that our bodies are aging. And of course they are, right? But at the same time, because of that, you're gonna be a little bit more aware and you're gonna to want to make sure that you do things the right way. So going back to my workshops, you're probably gonna learn how to run and learn some technique tips that'll actually make your running longer, as opposed to you know, somebody who's younger, and even though I'm stereotyping, stereotypes are there for a reason. You know, somebody who's younger is probably not going to go that route and just going to try to push through and, you know, this shin pain is probably normal or this knee pain is normal. I'm going to keep pushing through without really thinking about the consequences that are going to be there in 20 years or so. And I think as, as we're older, we're just more aware of that. So if you really think about those two things and what, what that actually means or what they have in common, and I think this is just something I've learned about myself as I've gotten older and wiser, is that you know we tend to drop the ego. Running can be a very egocentric sport, and you see it all the time. You know, people comparing their paces and how fast are you, and as soon as you get done with a 5K or any distance, you know, people are asking you, what was your time? So it, it, is a, it can be a very egocentric sport, but I think that, again, as women and as we age, we kind of really start caring less about what people think. Don't get me wrong, this is still probably one of the biggest mindset things that I work with, with my true tribe. But at the same time, I think we're much more open to the fact that we have to let our egos go, right? So in that case, again, you're gonna be more likely to learn how to run, and hey, I can definitely help you out with that. And then the other thing is you're gonna, you know, I think as women, we tend to, as we get older, find other women that we can bond with around things that we enjoy. And that's really pretty much exactly what my True Tribe community is all about. True meaning the running university, that's, that's what I do, right? And then my tribe. And so we have an online community and that's exactly what we do there is pretty much everybody's about 50 plus. And I have people who have just completed their first 5Ks. And again, I have somebody who just did her first 100K. So, hey, 
First of all, if you are even in the slightest bit interested, right, send me an email, lisa at the runninguniversity.com. Just email me, say, hey, I, I, I saw your, your video and I'm interested in a 30 day free trial in your true tribe. Would love to have you come in, check it out. You don't like it, it's totally fine. I'd love for you to do that, okay? Or feel free to ask me some questions down in the comments. But, um, you know, that's basically what I, this message I just wanted to get across to you because I think, especially as we're coming into the new year, uh, if you're listening to this live, a lot of people like to think about things that, you know, that they've always really wanted to do but are afraid to do. And I have this happen all the time. I kid you not, people will come to me and they'll be like, I've been stalking you on your Facebook page for two years and I wish I would have contacted you back then. I don't want that to be you. I would love to help you. My ladies in the tribe would love to have you. So again, subscribe to my channel so you can find out about more things as I progress through this year, talking about more running and walking even. Like walking's an amazing sport. I do a ton of walking in my running. Um, and yeah, just do that. Anyway, okay, bye.